When it comes to summertime, many families are looking forward to vacations because it's a time of rest and relaxation. There may be trips that include more than the immediate family members. When you add more people of different ages to a vacation, it may be a little bit more challenging for everything to go smoothly. Blanca Cobb, who has a master's degree in psychology, and I are talking about problems that can come up during a family vacation. So Blanca, what gets in the way of fun family vacation when you have a mix of grandparents, parents, and the kiddos? What happens is you can't reach a consensus, a consensus about interest about what you want to do, and not everybody has the same energy level. So what seems fun to one person may not to somebody else. And so what happens is there isn't agreement, and then some people are like, why do we have to do this, or this is going to be boring, or why does such and such always get their way? And so you hear this mountain of complaints. So true. Well, what seems to get in the way of the types of activities that the family may want to participate in. One big issue is mobility. Not everybody has the same level of mobility. What might be an activity that's easier for some person, for somebody may be more challenging for somebody else. Like if somebody has a hip issue or a knee issue, or maybe somebody is hurt for whatever reason, right? Or they just don't have that energy level or stamina. So then you come back to that same example that I just gave is like, Oh, this is just going to be so boring because we're not going to do anything fun. You just hear this litany of complaints. And can too much family time be too much of a good thing? Absolutely. I mean, in the big picture, it sounds great because it's a time of rest and relaxation and just unwinding. But when you can't seem to meet eye to eye on what to do or how to do it or why to do it, then it can be prob problematic. But on top of that, it's when people feel crowded, they don't have any privacy or space, particularly like if, if you're in the car together, or you're at a restaurant or something, and you're, you're sitting right beside each other, and someone's like looking over your shoulder as you're on your phone or reading something, then people are just like, oh, you know, just like back up, give me some space. So again, too much of a good thing can be too much. It's very good advice. I appreciate it, Blanca. And you can continue that conversation with her on our Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, Body Language Expert.